The intention or the motivation that comes with practicing the sublime dharma consists of the um, the motivation of renunciation as well as the excellent motivation of bodhicitta and so with with that with that mind with that motivation with that intention please listen to the dharma Currently, we're discussing the the stages of the path, the the process along the path, and within that, we're talking about this fourth uh, element, this fourth point, which is how do we unmistakably do that? How do we, without error, um, go through the stages of the path? <laughs> Lamkin Dum Shitang, Dinin Lam Koranki, Nyam Sulim Birimbasini, Nyibinani, Dakazang, Chidang Lamkin Dum Shiti, Ni Chang Shi, Changja, Chong Chidang, Changdin number Shiki Kornitini, Manzu, Lotin Changu Kore, Sadi, Shi Simbare, Dinin Tiring Da Nipa, Dinin Tendiki Lam. In general, when we talk about the the path, the the steps or the process of going on the path, um, previously we've talked, we've we've spoken about the we could call it the framework, uh, the system. We'll call it the framework, the framework of the path which consists of the the basis the means we go the basis of purification the means of purification what is to be purified and the result of purification these four we've talked about at length um, in our previous in our previous uh, meetings previous teachings and so now having spoken about that let's go to the actual the main part of the practice or the main part um, of practicing on uh, actually practicing these stages of the path. What do we mean by the, the main practice here? Tadela Deni Shila Dodo Chopa Taiwating Della Main Kyoma Gombini Gomden Kula Zajung Chibichung Tagum Chibiting the Timber Show Sunny. Um, the Lam nyam su len su di len bi rimba te la di ni ta wa ngom ba che ba sum gi ko ni di ni lam ji rimba te ndo ko ko re se ni sum ba re te la di ni tang bo dor te di ni re re se ni ma ke ba re se yong ko re ta ti ta se ti dor te mbi ta se ti re 
<clears throat> and so this is um, discussed in the next uh, the next verse in the prayer, the Mahamudra aspiration prayer, which goes, cutting doubts about the ground is confidence in the view. Sustaining that without wandering is the key point of meditation. Training in all aspects of meditation is supreme action. May we have confidence in the view, meditation, and action. So this discusses the actual practice of going along the path, the actual practice of the stages of the path. And it consists of these three points, which is the view, meditation, and here we have the word action. We could also call it the, the conduct or one's behavior. And so by, by working with these three uh, points, that's what we mean by this uh, actual practice of the, of the stages of the path. And so this verse is a, is a summary of, of, of what we can understand here. So this, this provides a very brief introduction of uh, these three points. So when we talk about the practice of the path, right? It's through, it's via these three. It's via the view, meditation, and conduct that we practice the path. And we can also say that it's these three that completely summarize or um, all the different kinds of paths that are available to us. All different kinds of ways of practicing are all summarized into these three points. They're all subsumed, contained within these three points. Mm the prayer that we're studying now, this Mahamudra aspiration prayer, is um, we can really understand it. It, it. it can be more easily understood if we um, if we study it according or with the aid of a an outline so meaning if we understand the outline the outline of the prayer itself then we come to have a, a good understanding about what it's trying to teach us and what do i mean by that um for example many of the verses that we have say in the beginning of the prayer um they ha they they summarize uh the main teaching but then each line of individual verse um, really um, has a point to it yeah it, 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 it gives its own teaching each each individual line not only that but um, the the teachings of each of those individual lines is reflected and um, commentated on or explained further in the uh, in the coming verses so it really fleshes out um, not only uh, the teaching itself but uh, each line is even further fleshed out, even more explained as we go along. Mm -hmm. 
the Mahamudra <coughs> aspiration prayer has a, a good flow to it, meaning that um, in between the individual lines of uh, the preceding or, or the, the former and the preceding lines, we have a lot of explanation. We have a lot of commentary that comes um, to really uh, inform us uh, of this prayer. Lasso, that diggy carried them by Senna, Sigan Dambo diggy, Shilan Dodo Chopa, David Ding, said the Tawatembare, Della Main Kyonga, said the Combatembare, and he Sigan Sumba diggy Chopa Tembarwa, Sigan Rere getting it to the Rere Tembare. So, for example, this verse that we have here, what is it teaching us? The first line saying cutting doubts about the ground is the confidence in the view so the first line talks about the view and likewise the second line comments on the meditation and the third line comments on the training um or we call it the action the behavior the conduct <laughs> There's so much that can be said um, regarding these three, the, the view, meditation, and conduct. Um, this verse provides us with the very essential meaning of what those three are, the, the definition, we could say, of each of these points. Okay. The first line talks about the view, right? It says, cutting doubts about the ground is confidence in the view. And so, here, this, this ground that we have here, this, this ground, is what we mean by the, the nature, the way things are, the way things abide, reality itself. Um, this is also reflected in what we talked about previously, the, the, the basis of purification. So these, the ground, um, the reality itself, things the way it is, and the basis of purification are equated here when we talk about the ground and having the view of the ground. For example, um, that's how we talk about it within the context of Mahamudra. Within Madhyamaka, we, we talk about the ground as being the unity of the two truths, unity of relative and ultimate. Um, but essentially what we have here is we're talking about the ground, the nature of reality itself, and that's equated with the, the, the nature of mind, which is said to be the unity of luminosity and emptiness. And um, when it comes to this point of, this, of the basis, the nature of the mind, there's so many, um, so many reasonings provided within the teachings, so many scriptural citations that we can refer to, as well as experiential descriptions of what that means. But essentially what we have here is uh, the definition of, of the ground being when we have complete confidence in what that is. We have complete confidence in the very nature of reality, the, uh, the nature of the mind, the luminosity and emptiness, indivisible. And it's the confidence which, which, which knows, well, it can't be anything other than just that. It has to be just that. And what that means is we've cut through all doubts about what that is. And we have 
Um, and here we have the, the word confidence. We could call that certainty um, as well. And so this is what we mean by uh, confidence in the view. <coughs> so to to make that point clear the the view according to the Mahamudra tradition that we're talking about right here in this context is we analyze or we look at the our the in our, our, our own mind we look and we investigate what that is what it wh what the nature of that is and when we see the essence when we know what the essence is of the nature of mind being the unity of luminosity and emptiness then that gives rise to um confidence we have confidence in what that is what it means um to be the basis or to be the ground and so that's what we mean here by confidence in the view and we can talk about the view as being a view with respect to maybe a conceptual understanding of the view um, versus a experiential um, we could, an experience, a direct experience of the view as well as a uh, full realization of the view. We can talk about the view within these three kinds of dimensions. Currently, it's it's probably safe to say that um, most of us have the uh, the view, which is a kind of a conceptual understanding. We have a conceptual understanding of the view, um, and what comes we have to start there that's that's where our starting point is a conceptual understanding of it and then through meditation then we come to have a more experiential relationship with it and then eventually and ultimately a direct realization of it and but this requires meditation and it doesn't come immediately we actually have to do the meditation um, for a while and so that's where we're beginning right now we're starting with the starting with the conceptual understanding of the view and then ultimately we need to gain the uh, realization of that so the the view as it is a realization a direct realization is is the actual view is the authentic genuine view so that comes uh, later with uh, through the process of meditation that <laughs> And <laughs> The second line reads, sustaining that without wandering is the key point of meditation. So when we ask, well, out, out of these three, what do we mean by meditation? And it is, we've, we've, we've gained that certainty or that confidence in the view, right? And it's by not being distracted from that confidence, by not losing that confidence, 
by, we could say, sustaining the continuity of that confidence in the view is what we mean by meditation. So we we can we can grasp that the view and the meditation are extremely close. There is a tight relationship between these two. That essentially, if we don't have one, we can't have the other. So um, so they're very close within that within that respect. So, in a, in a pithy way to understand the difference between the two, we could say that the view is recognition and meditation is, we could say, the sustaining of that recognition. And so the process of, of, of how these, uh, h- how we practice them can be different. However, the meaning, the recognition and the sustaining of the recognition are very, or we could say the same. But the process is a little bit different about how we come to, come to the recognition versus the sustaining of the recognition. But the meaning is the same. Mm Um, regarding these two, the view and the meditation, the actual process of practicing these two, um, in general, we can say that there's there's two ways that we can go about it. Um, and these two ways aren't contradictory. The first being, initially, we 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 become certain with the view yeah we we ascertain the view and then what follows is the meditation that's one way however we can also it, it's also possible that first we engage with the meditation and then what comes later is the view and this is um this is how we can understand this what i talked about earlier this the the difference the different kinds of view we have a conceptual understanding of the view versus a um, an actual full blown exper- or realization of the view tani um ta chopa da chigan sumba dik chopa de marwa chopa se de kan de resna ta tinde ki ta Anichik 
인지 갤라 가르세드 인핸스 와 뉴스 통통 질란 데부 챔버 주 토베 갤라 테니 아 탑람 데즐라 가르세 게르스나 쥬파스 니스걸 Now regarding the conduct or as as it's translated here the action that's uh spoken of in the third line so what do we mean by this action or this conduct first we have the confidence in the view and we go through the process of familiarizing ourselves with that or meditating on that and then but immediately um it won't be we, there's these three factors of clarity um ex- like we could say clarity or um maybe extensiveness of the view versus the completeness of the view we have these three three ways of thinking about it the clarity the extensiveness um and the completeness of the view these in the in the in the very beginning of one's meditation aren't aren't all the way clarified there's still a process that has to go in, in order for us to become more clear to more expansive and uh, a more perfect kind of view and this takes time right it's not immediately that we have a, a full blown recognition of the view and so however um this what we're doing here is 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 th- the promise is that in a very short time you can gain a very amazing or great result from this kind of practice right and, and but in order to do that this requires what we call training right or training um and that's what we we're talking about here as the conduct or the behavior so it's through the training it's through the process of enhancement practices that we normally call it and through the through the the vast means um and ways of of ways of applying ourselves that we can in a very short time use these methods to lead ourselves to um, the the arising and and the manifestation of an incredible result And so this is what we mean this is this training in order for us to be able to do that is what we mean by conduct in this circumstance. And the ambition na na to such a children do go na. Ta wa se de ta do go sa ki sa cha di ga wa yin ba se bo she ba to ba te su me ba. Chok ha go ba di ta ba da wa re. Ta gom ba se di ngwe su pa. Gomba jamni, ani saja cula, coba terawa. Tapi coba sedu, saja dila, dogi yerde ini yang, tapsi cik tembai ina, dusu nyunyun cilen, jopol lep tebe ke tapsi cerawa. Oh, di di ini coba asal. Now, for example, we can think about these three. Um, in an example or an analogy of say going to some place to engage or, or departing on a journey the the view is knowing exactly where we're going we have no doubt we're completely clear on where it is that we're going the, our destination that's necessary and that's the first thing that we have to decide the meditation is the actual process of going about that journey the the actual in this case we could say the actual walking that is necessary for you to reach your desired destination however the conduct um can be used to expedite that process of going for example through different kinds of means you can get there faster than using other ways of getting there right so if we think about the the way in which we get there as the conduct um uh, uh, it can make uh, a little bit more sense ta ti in de nga ju nam ki ta che nyam nin che le che ba da me de mong bo ra ba ta ni tu lo gon ta ke che che ta mong bo ra che ba se ti 
Maranzo ki tharba thoba la dog su dogo gare mato tharba thoba la barchi chigin chhe na di chhe ki chuba sani pechen dogo amare inne ka chamu thowa di inde ta soso ki chhe thana dulo gundan chhe chhe dam sumba ju gungu du naya di miyu di kare le do soso samdai inde peke chamu thowa kisi miyu di Jigdin cheke tan de de ba ineni ta ta di ka su cheke cheba ta ba tong ma ineni dona cheke cheba chage ma ra kari cheni chage ma ra sena gomba di ka bau tuhe la pengi mi doa ma zu chike sa jala dosa la ma ndo wa cheni su ka di hen su do wa chiko ma ri chike hen su do wa chao song ma ri di ndu ngan an zu ki cheba di ta kom che sum nan ki cheba chage du chage mi do se di ta ra ba tang tam che ke mbe ki lam la ko ki dok chike du ma ri chike du sing ti ta di ne ka chomba chike cha di ka wa ri. If we translate this idea of conduct as, say, like behavior, um, how maybe how we conduct ourselves, um, for example, the kinds of the kinds of things we do, the kinds of clothes we may wear, our outfit maybe, the way we talk, these are all kinds of behavior, conduct that we we we, we do engage in. In this context, when we talk about the conduct with respect to practicing the path, the, pr the path of the Dharma, um, the goal is liberation. And so the conduct is meant to aid in that liberation. It's supposed to help us. It's supposed to be um, essentially uh, a friend in that process. It's never supposed to be a obstacle to the to the process of our enlightenment or our, our awakening if so then um it's a great danger right to the process of of awakening um it's it's the opposite of what we need to be doing and so what do i mean by that for example if you wear a certain kind of <coughs> dharma outfit maybe what is your goal why are you doing it right if your goal if it's if it's an, a hindrance say if it's somehow um aiding in your attachment to say the the eight worldly kinds of concerns then it's actually a hindrance to enlightenment right outwardly you might look like a dharma practitioner but inwardly because um it's it's a hindrance to your actual path then um it's not conduct it's not uh conduct that aids that's the aid in your liberation it doesn't enhance right we use this word enhance it doesn't enhance your practice but actually stifles it and um for example if, say if you're going somewhere and you run into obstacles someone stops you from getting to your destination we call that a hindrance yeah it's an obstacle it's something we we shouldn't um engage in or we shouldn't it's not it's not helpful to our path um so it's the the conduct that aids in our study and our contemplation and our meditation that um that we need to uh, engage in so we we have to look at our conduct and we have to investigate is this an aid to my liberation or is it a hindrance so that's how we can decide on what the correct conduct is Tak pernah ngaran tu cegah di, tenis itu kaya di, kado mixer kaya di, ngaran tu lah. Nihjung, tan tenis itu dengsu cegah di cegah tu lah ngaran tu kumpul orang lah, coba di, tak tu berita tenis tu. Tapi dek itu ni, nihjung kumpul tu dua orang lah, tuhje macam macam ni, ngajal kumpul tu dua begini, tuhje cakap tu lah, tadi coba macam apa lagi, tak kum cek sum nangis coba saya di macam apa lagi. <clears throat> for example you can think about the monastic robes um one would or one is supposed to wear um clad oneself in the dharma dharma robes as an aid in developing renunciation 
it's from a, 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 the mind of renunciation, renunciation that one engages in wearing such uh, such an outfit. So this is a, a a kind of conduct or a behavior that one would use in order to enhance one's renunciation. Wearing the robes, cutting your hair, they're all a reminder in order to strengthen one's uh, remembrance of that foundational renunciation that one has and is to increase that renunciation. However, if um, it does the opposite, for example, if it brings someone to have a certain kind of pride about wearing the robes, that's obviously not helpful, right? In order to engage or enhance our renunciation, if what happens is we gain, have more pride, that's a hindrance, right? If it hinders our study, if it hinders our uh, reflection and our meditation, that's an incorrect kind of conduct. Alchemist. <laughs> Uh, so why am I talking about this example specifically? Um, the there's there's practice, and then there's the way in which one practices. And there can be certain kinds of uh, different kinds of emphasis that are, um, or different kinds of behavior that are emphasized in that, in those different ways of practicing. For example, you can have a a great meditator, and the emphasis for a an actually an authentic meditator um, is on the view while there's not so much emphasis directly concerning one's conduct. Um, it's as, as, as one, one, is, one is coming from the view, um, and that's, uh, one's, uh, say the view is higher, and uh, the conduct is considered to be less emphasized or maybe lower, but there's an emphasis on the view. Just like one, like for example, um, alchemy, you have a process that you can turn anything into gold, right? Any mundane substance can be transformed into gold. That's the same thing with having an emphasis on the view. By uh, emphasis on the authentic view, whatever your behavior is, whether it appears to be um, not so good or if it appears to be good, Everything from the point perspective, from the power of the view, becomes a positive, 
conducive condition to one's practice. So it's using the view in order to um, create uh, our harmonious um, environment, essentially, for the practice. However, for beginners, 90, 99% of us as, as beginners, we actually need to start with the conduct and to elevate the conduct as, uh, uh, as, as we need to emphasize that conduct which would then inform or um, uh, bring about the view. And so, for example, um, you could think of a tree that needs to be protected in order to grow and to then bear fruit. We would need to create a, um, a barrier around that tree in order so it, it can grow strong. And anything that would harm the tree is blocked off <coughs> by, say, the the fence that's surrounding it, right? And so it's by, and it's this fence that we could say is the conduct. We do certain th kinds of things. The way we talk, the way we act, what we do is emphasized in order for it to create a positive environment and positive circumstances um, in order for that view to then be cultivated and become um, stronger, and so it's it really comes to what is it that uh, enhances or brings harmonious conditions to our practice, and that's what we need to emphasize. ดิเซตาตาลันกับเทเนมาเจเนงาโกมเจกิคอรังมาละวาตาโกมมาจับนาอันนี้ตาวาเชรับดิมาเยอมาเรยะวาดิตาวากุมบาเจปาดิงาโ
uh, uh, this, the, the authentic view, which is this uh, aspect of clarity, this aspect of wisdom. And here we don't have to think about discipline as being um, something that one has having taken a kind of vow, right? It's not, not that, it's not the kind of, it's not by having vows that one has discipline. It doesn't need to mean that. In this context, what we mean is that we we aren't distracted. And what does it mean by not being distracted? We don't let ourselves go wandering off into the afflictive emotions of attachment or addiction, um, aversion, anger, uh, closed-mindedness or stupidity. We we don't we don't allow ourselves to veer off into those directions. And we can call this carefulness. We're, we're, we're careful when it comes to the state of our mind. And so this carefulness itself is what we can understand by what we mean by uh, discipline or conduct. So this is just the, the, the brief presentation of what we mean by the view, the meditation, and the conduct. However, uh, in the coming verses, we'll have a very fleshed out and a more elaborate explanation of what these three are. The the first is the exp uh, is the view, right? And the view is described as cutting doubts. Yes, cutting doubts about the ground is what we mean by the view. ตาเวนโตโตเจเซติตะโกเทการะวาตอดดิชาบะเรตาอินะยังอันซุกมยองเบกับซุชาซังกิลัมซานติเนกมทุกเยอะมะเรระวาตากมมาทุเบอนติ
um, when we begin even in meditation. But it comes through a process, right? Uh, step by step, we give, uh, we, we cut through our doubts, we clarify our misunderstandings. Um, and so that's the process of meditation that most of us would, would, would need to go through on a gradual, uh, on a gradual um, kind of practice scheme. For example, however, you know, you can have people that are um, particularly skilled or um, prepared for this kind of uh, understanding of the, the unity of luminosity and emptiness. They can immediately and directly engage what it, what, with what it means by this indivisibility of luminosity and emptiness. Um, but that's not, that doesn't happen for all of us, right? We need to actually step by step um, come to understand what the in individual aspects of this are. And step by step, we give rise to certainty about what these are individually. Um, and step by step, we use that, uh, that confidence to build more confidence and so on in order to then eventually and ultimately come to a decisive understanding, decisive uh, recognition of the view. And, this, and we can talk about this process. This process is, uh, we can say, it ha it's three steps of, of coming to an assert, uh, a, 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 uh, a definitive uh, establishment of the view. The, the process, first of all, is we, we decide or we have confidence or we ascertain that all appearances are essentially mind. It's the first. The second is that mind itself is empty. Mind itself is emptiness. And then the third uh, step is coming to a understanding of what it means for the indivisibility of appearance and emptiness. Um, the uncontradict that 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 they that appearance and emptiness are not contradictory, but in self are a unity or are indivisible. Um, we can also say that the, the, the unity of uh, this luminosity and emptiness. And so it's coming, so what we mean by the view in this context is coming to a decisive understanding uh, or, dec or deciding one pointedly on what this view is through this process. <laughs> Dordishana <clears throat> uh, we initially talked about um, a very brief explanation of, of the path uh, or a brief explanation of the stages of the path that um, was taught by the Buddha within the Prajnaparamita teachings um, in which he said that as for the mind, there is no mind the mind is luminosity or we could say clear light and so, and this reflects what uh, these three steps that um, that I mentioned. First, as for the mind, that 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 part of the, the the verse, as for the mind, meaning that is the mind, or, or appearances are that the mind, and the mind doesn't. It, it is not the mind. We could say it is not the mind means essentially its essence. The mind's essence is emptiness. And at the, the second line going, the mind is clear light or the, li the mind is luminous. And this is what we mean by the, the, the unity of emptiness and appearance. Dordin <laughs> 
Chenum Tamji, Simji, Namtulti, Simni Simi, Simji Ngovetu. Tongji Maga, Jia Nawati, Lewartani, Shiza Chopra Shu, Osmetri. So that's the brief explanation, yeah, that we have from the uh, the Prajnaparamita teachings. The the extensive, the more extensive or more mm. elaborate. The Zawa Korang la Dotin na Gishin Yerwa, Tana di Dotin Bisikiri. Chenam Tamji Simi Nam Tul De Sedi. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, that's no, Simni, 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 Tong, Sishto. Okay. So, that's the that's the, the brief explanation, yeah, that we have from the Prajnaparamita teachings. The next verse is a, an el- elaboration on that on the on that very meaning, and in, as it says, it's it's the ninth verse of the Mahamudra aspiration prayer that goes uh, in a more elaborate explanation of the meaning is all phenomena are the illusory display of mind there is no mind mind is empty of an essence empty and unceasing it appears as anything whatsoever investigating this thoroughly may we ascertain the ground this is the more elaborate um, teaching mm-hmm. on that mm-hmm. When it comes to the Mahamudra aspiration prayer, this line that I just recited, this is the the brief uh, presentation, and what comes later is the more extensive explanation of that. ตาเวกิทาเจโกเรสนันตังโบดีสุมเยเรสรวะอันซิกังตังโบดีกะเรตเนสนานามะทัมจิสิมกินนัมจุยิมบะติทาเจโกเรสลาบะเรติจิกเ
So the the empty and the appearing qualities are in what they're not contradictory. Yeah, they're completely indivisible. There's no contradiction between these two things. Ultimately, the, essentially, the meaning means that because they're not contradictory, these are undivided. They're essentially united. And so, the this is this is the process that one would need to go through in order to come to a recognition of what we mean by unity. That unity being um, the view itself. And we can go through this process. Yeah, there's a step-by-step process that we can engage in in order to have this recognition, gain the certainty of the view. Mm-hmm. And the last line brings it all together by saying first we recognize all appearances as mind then recognize that the mind itself is essentially empty and that is the unity the unity of emptiness and appearance and it's through investigation, uh, invest- intelligent investigation, or investigation via the process uh, of, of engaging with these these steps with wisdom, that we can clear away any doubts that we have regarding um, these three steps. Once we get rid of all these doubts, um, that's what we mean by the view. So here we have it presented as a kind of an aspiration prayer that may this happen, may we clear away all doubts regarding the view. That in the Gitini, Toto Chebe King Sheti, Arangula Kesong Baina, Tini, Tawa, Manor by Yang Tawata, Umin Tawa Senator, Chachin Tawa Senator, Zochin Tawa Senator, the Rangula Kibare, Sumare. So by cutting through all these doubts, clear away all the doubts that we have regarding the view, we give rise to certainty, confidence. And when, if and when we give rise to this confidence in the view, or once we give rise to this confidence, that itself is what we mean by the unerring, unmistaken, genuine, authentic view. And this can be equated with um, the view of Madhyamaka, the view of Mahamudra as well as the view of the great perfection Dzogchen. That then they get Tawa the Rangula Kibar Jebala, um, Tapshi Mambuji Gore, Suzuki, Wangi Sunam Gogore, and it said Digger, Tosa, Dibjayan Gogore, and Tabadan Samba, the Ni, Lamikin Jinlap, Raba, in Chiki, Jamba Digger Mare, Mambuji Gogore. Uh and so in order for this confidence in the view to arise in our in our minds within our within our being we we utilize a plethora of uh, methods means in order for us in order for that confidence to arise um, that can look like the 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 generation of merit right the the process of clearing away uh, obscurations uh, and um, uh, 
and, and, and amassing uh, good deeds. Uh, it can involve studying and reflection. It can be through the process of receiving the blessings of one's guru. Um, so many methods are available to us in order for um, the, the result of this confidence in the view to arise in our minds. We need everything. We need all the help we can get, right? We need all the possible uh, means and directions um, in order for this to happen as quickly as possible. Meaning, if we only, say, rely on one, if we only rely on, say, um, study, or we only rely on accumulating um, merit, uh, or going like kind of the practices that are emphasizing accumulation of merit. If we only say rely on the blessings of the guru, it actually might take longer um, in comparison to using everything you you have at your um, disposal in order to quickly and um, uh, and authentically give rise to this view. So it takes it takes everything that we can. Uh, we can use uh, at our behest. So, um, I mean, and so that means 25% needs to be accumulation of merit. 25% needs to be diligence and being really uh, earnest in one's practice. 25% of it can be relying on the pith instructions and one's, uh, the, 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 the blessings of one's guru, right? So we can add up all these things, but we need to use them all together in order to um, give rise to this view, right? So this is important to kind of uh, suss out and really uh, figure out what uh, all the all the means uh, available to us are, and then utilize them. Mm -hmm. Same gen nan de la rangula dende gidini tawa de ji kebar shos ni mi yu ji yeng ko tawa so how we can do that is by having this wish that whenever when 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 whatever practice we're engaging in that it's by that practice that we quickly give rise that 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 the the view the certainty and the confidence in the view quickly arises and is given birth within our minds. For example, um, reciting mani mantras, you recite the mani mantras with this intention behind it that may the authentic view truly and genuinely and quickly arise in my mind by offering incense by offering candles, butter lamps, by doing prostrations. Behind it is this intention, this, this the goal, the aim. Our direction is that may we may we quickly give rise to the authentic view. Right? So that should be the, the, the grounding uh, motivation, the grounding intention behind um, all the different kinds of means that we have. Lasso, Tadring, Dordina, Dini. Lamgi Rimbati in Dordina, Tawa, Compa, Chepasum Seconi, and Yamnin Chepores. Ne Tawa Sena, Nilu Langishi Kepatres, Gomba Sena di Gunjam Batres, Chepa Sena, then Tendeki, Tawa Tang Gombani, Gombul de Tobigi, Chaginla, Chepa Sigures. Tatini, Nipa Tawa di Tokoed, Sunju Rete, Inanda. Lamsan Sunju do, Mazu, Toto Marva, Tin Dutini, then La Pavion Dutini, Rimbasumiris, Nawa Sem, Sem Tongba, Tongba Sunju do, then La Pavni, then it took over, Tela Carisegurisena, Ni, a young Dabitawa Segure, somebody. So today, in summary, what we discussed was the process, the stages of the path. And that can be discussed via the view, the meditation, and the conduct. So it's through these three that we actually practice the authentic, unerring path. 
the view is certainty and confidence in the way things are, the way things abide, the nature, reality. The meditation is sustaining that confidence, sustaining that recognition or that certainty. And the conduct are the positive conditions, the um, what, what, what we need to have in order to expedite or to enhance both that view and uh, the subsequent meditation, the, the positive conditions that we can add in order for us to quickly um, train in and uh, perfect the view and meditation. That's conduct. And then, so when we talk about the view, ultimately the view is a recognition and realization of the unity of emptiness and luminosity. However, for many of us, we can't do this immediately. We can't directly have this recognition. And so in order to, um, in order to ascertain um, step by step on a gradual uh, process, how, how, essentially how can we, if, if we can't immediately recognize it, how do we, how can we approach it? Yeah. The, the way that we approach the confidence uh, and assertion of the view is through the three steps that we talked about the recognizing all appearances to be mind, the mind itself recognized as being essentially empty, and then the recognition of, eventually, the recognition of the unity, the um, uncontradictory unity or indivisibility of appearance and emptiness or luminosity and emptiness. And then once we have that recognition, that is what we mean by <coughs> having given rise to the authentic, genuine view. That any Tinditawa de Rangula Kibra Jebra Tanzu Sunam Tso Sago Gudu, Eshi Tso Sago Gudu, Damida Jerba, the Chazang around the Che Dittany, and the Cola Tingin Chazan de Maranzitini, and Chosum Malunga Tordina, Sunam Gisota, and Shiki Tso, Chosum Malunga, Sunju Gunin Yaminji, Sago Gore, Sumbre. <clears throat> and in order for that view, that genuine view, to authentically arise in our experience, within our minds, we have to utilize the accumulation or the practices associated with the accumulation of merit and the accumulation of wisdom. And uh, using all the different possible methods that are available to us in order to do that. So these are the, the positive conditions, the conducive conditions that we, can, uh, that we can help aid in this uh, quick and authentic uh, recognition of the view. And we should engage in these, all these different kinds of practices, all these different kinds of means, without thinking one is better than the other without having a, a certain bias or a, a tilt toward one rather than the other. However, we should think um, or we should practice that the accumulation of merit and wisdom are, should be done simultaneously or in a, in a unified manner. <laughs> Start where you are, use whatever you have right now. <coughs> and so, we we should have no excuse when it comes to um, this this process uh, of of giving rise to the authentic view. Right? There should be no excuse for us not to engage in it. We should start where we are. Yeah. We should use what we have at our disposal. Janju Simju Rimbunji Magi Banam Gijuriji Giba Nyambara Mebaya Goni Gondum Pelvare Shum 